So All tonight right. we're, we're going to talk spousal support and no, not alimony. Stop. Okay. We're recording. All right. <laughs> tonight we're talking about having your significant other or your spouse, um, the other person in your life, having them um, supporting you in your business and also participating in your business. And mm-hmm. I want to talk about the difference between those two things. And then Bart is actually going to give you his take on how he actually supports and participates in this business. So um, the first thing that I wanted to make sure I make very, very abundantly clear to you guys, um, support from your significant other will not make or break your business. So you can't sit there and say, well, my, my husband doesn't support, doesn't like that I do this. And that's why I don't have good numbers. My husband doesn't, my husband doesn't like that I do this. Thanks. So that's why X, Y, and Z happened. Okay. You clicked join. No one pressed join for you. No one made you join. Mm-hmm. Um, you did it for whatever reason you joined. And you maybe you need to go back and remember why you joined. Why you joined. For me personally, I joined because I was basically having like an identity crisis. I was like tired of being so-and-so's mom, Sergeant Anderson's wife, wife, um, doing the the popcorn lady at the PTO. Like I wasn't, it's not necessarily that I was tired of doing those things, but I didn't have anything for me. I didn't have anything for me and I needed something for me. Okay. And that's really why I joined. Um, It's part of the reason why I'm still here, but honestly, you guys are the main reason that I'm still here. I love, love, love leadership, but I didn't even know that I would even like have a place for like that it would even be like a big thing to me so what are you doing just keeping me on track just keeping me on track Mm -hmm. you're ridiculous i'm here for you guys remember (laughs) that he's literally got his finger on my notebook to keep Mm -hmm. me keep keep me on track i love it okay so (laughs) spouse spouse significant other support i'm going to try to remember to say significant other and not just spouse um So what can support look like? Okay. And support and participation, two totally different things. I'm going to tell you now, if your spouse doesn't support you, support your, your business, support your journey, whatever you want to call it, your, I mean, for some people, this is their happy place. Like for me, that's what Cynthia is. It's my happy place. Like, so for me, I would be like, you don't support what's what I, what makes me happy. So if they are not supporting you, in that way, there's no way in hell you're going to get them to participate. Okay. No way in hell. So what support can look like showing an interest in anything, like when orders come in, um, certain business supplies that you have or paychecks, even if they're only interested in your paychecks, that's a good thing. Okay. That means they're, they're showing an interest in something. If it's just the paycheck aspect and they're showing an interest in it, that's, that's a good little, foot in the door, right? Like (laughs) literally anything. Okay. Like, um, that could be like, you get an order in and maybe they watch you or maybe they don't watch you, but maybe you don't realize it, but they're, they're listening to you do an unboxing or doing a training for your team. Or maybe you're sitting there listening to a training or attending a meeting and you don't realize it, but your spouse is in the other room and they can maybe hear it still. And they're going to be like, Oh, that was interesting. I I thought I heard a guy's voice. I thought I heard a guy's voice. What what were you guys talking about? That's still showing some kind of interest and that's a little foot, foot in the door type scenario. Okay. Um, talking you up to their friends or their coworkers, um, carrying your business cards in their wallet. Okay. Like most guys, like that's not like a big deal. Like here, babe, here's, here's some of my business cards. Like, you know, just Mm -hmm. if by some chance someone comments on like your office smelling good or, you know, (laughs) or, Hey, what's that thing hanging in your car? What is that? Mm -hmm. You know, you have, you have my, my card. Like, I'm not telling you to go hawk it to every place that you go to. Like he doesn't go drop it in like every fish bowl at every restaurant that I know of. (laughs) Um, which leads me to the next yeah. one, setting up a warmer mm-hmm. or even samples even in their, in their office, their workplace. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, there it is. 
this is a big one for me. Understanding that this is a business and therefore a priority, i.e. important to you. Literally just the simple act of him acknowledging that this is a priority for me is huge. Mm -hmm. Him understanding like that I would rather skip a Netflix show and do a meeting for you guys mm -hmm. and do a training for you guys. I was really looking forward to that next, <laughs> next episode of Shadow and Bone. <laughs> so, just saying. you know, like just, but under, but understanding and not being pissed off, like, oh, you're doing it again. You, you have to do this again. Like the biggest thing with par getting participation um, from your, from your significant other is making sure that they're involved and not regret it and not regretting what's the word um, where you don't resenting, resenting mm -hmm. Sensi, resenting your business, resenting that you are doing what you love to do. So I think so what getting them participate. it's not just understanding, but it's acceptance. Yes. Maybe not as acceptance so far as like they need to get involved, but they accept that this yeah. is a part of your life and won't hinder that in any way. Yeah. And then being a sounding board for anything, for ideas, problem solving, accountability. I don't know how many times I could tell you guys that even when he was deployed, I would still talk to him about, because I joined, by the way, if you didn't know this, I joined when he was deployed. Um, he came home and I already had a very well-established business. Yo, she called me while I was in <laughs> Afghanistan and she's like, Hey, I'm doing this. And I'm like, no, this is a pyramid scheme. No, this is dumb. And, yeah. like, you know, she and then he came home and saw that it was a legitimate business. I was bringing in legitimate income. The income disclosure will be listed with this video on, on YouTube. Um, but, you know, I think he saw the leadership stuff too for me. And just, it kind of like changed me in a good mm -hmm. way, in a good way, I feel. Yeah, I also saw what she had to send to the IRS mm -hmm. and I was like, oh yeah, no, this is legit, got it. And then the last thing I have for sh showing support is, providing you with motivation when you don't want to do certain things. I a hundred percent know that I can count on him to motivate me and motivate you guys. If you have seen anything that Bart has ever posted in the team page, he loves him some Eric Thomas. Um, <laughs> he loves the motivational stuff. Oh, cool. It's, it's stuff that he uses in the military with his leadership. It's stuff he uses in the gym when he works out. And sometimes certain stuff just hits him the right way. And he's like, I think I'm going to share this to the team. What do you think? Um, and honestly, it's, it's though, honestly because she's like, no, and that's fine. It's honestly because in the end, at the end of the day, no one knows you better than your significant other, right? The reason that this person is your partner. Okay. Maybe that's me being sappy, being pregnant and emotional, like, but we've been together for 20 years and that. I honestly feel like no one knows me better. Like not even my best friends. Sorry if you're watching, but like no one knows me better than him. And he knows if I'm putting something off, he like tries to get to the root of it on why I'm putting it off. And he'll come home and be like, I know you had a really relaxing day, but did you do anything today? Like, did you do any income producing activities today? <laughs> and I hate when he asks me that. I hate that because I, I know that I can't lie to him. I have to take this. Okay. Sorry. See, military, he has to go and and have the conversations, which side note, and I know this can be on YouTube and you guys don't care, but um, we found out today that Bart actually made the Master Sergeant E8 promotion list. So we're really, really, really excited that he made the promotion list, okay? It's a big deal. It's a really big deal. And like, it's been a long time coming and we're just really excited. So <laughs> I know that there's probably not that many, we do have military spouses on our team, but majority of you guys are civilians, so. We're good. Nobody's in trouble. Really Fine. big deal. <laughs> Nobody's yeah. in trouble. Nobody's in trouble. That's good. Means I don't so, pick anybody from the MP station. Everybody's telling you congratulations because I said I told them about the. Thank you. Okay, so. All right, that's over. Next. Before I get into spouse <laughs> participation, I just want to check this. And oh my gosh, I just saw that Mindy's on. Yes, Mindy, I did shout you out. You're on director watch, and she has over 4K PRB. <laughs> Um, were you paying attention to this? You weren't, were you? Well, of all the trainings, of all the trainings for you to not pay attention on the, the spouse participation training. She didn't say perfect spouse. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. Clarify. Okay, let's see. 
Yes. Okay. Really good example. Nikki hit star director without her husband's approval. A hundred percent. But now he's on board. Okay. And um, whatchamacallit, when, he, when she joined, he actually, um, I remember he yelled at me on, on the phone and I was like, I didn't, I didn't make her join. I, I didn't even ask her to join. She wanted to join. And he was so upset that she joined. But I think Nikki has said like one of the big things is that Chris basically saw how much it meant to her. I mean, I'm and sure he, saw that I, he saw that I could do this from home with yep. a pandemic with our children and not feel torn of not contributing to my coworkers if I went back into an office. Yep, exactly. And then Carly, she's another director, uh, Northern Wax Queens. She said, asking questions was huge for me, meant he was paying attention and wanted to know more. Absolutely, absolutely. Any kind, anytime they ask any kind of questions, that's showing an interest. And honestly, you guys, don't brush them off. Don't brush them off. And I I'm, don't even care if like, if this is your partner, your parent, a family member, your best friend, someone that's going to help you with this. It, it's just anytime they show any kind of interest, like you have to make sure that they're just like with your team, all anybody wants is to be seen, all anybody wants is to be heard, you know, take time and answer their questions and explain things to them so that they understand. It used to really frustrate me because he would ask the most basic questions about like our comp plan. I'd be like, just look at the damn chart. I still do. And, but honestly, it's like, but if I sit down and actually like explain like, okay, this means this and this means this, then he, he has started to like understand it. Yeah. Once she showed me, it was like a spreadsheet. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Mindy. I love that you're on by the way. Um, see, yeah. And that's what we're going to get, get into in a minute. I love this. Okay. Slowly getting past those feelings in Emily's house. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's better than them completely resenting your time. It, like, really. See, but like what Heather says next, like, I was really happy to, that makes me happy that, like, he sees that and he understands, like, man, you put a lot into this. Yeah. And that sucks when that does happen. But, but he recognized, yeah. To back you up. It's mm -hmm. good. And I'll tell you this, when you have, when you have something like that happen, make lemonade, make lemonade. You do an open house and only two people, two, three people show up and you get zero sales or nobody shows up. You know what? You still have everything set up. Use that opportunity to take pictures do for you to use. Do a live, yeah, do a live show people. This is, house. this is what, this is what a, a home party looks like. Hey, you suckers. This is what you're missing. Mm -hmm. Should come over. Oh, yep. look at that. I'm going to eat all this free food. <laughs> Stop. What? Um, shame in my game. Uh, let's see, Victoria. Victoria's new too. I just got my box. Not sure where to start. I started the task, but feel like I'm not doing it right. How do I know what I'm doing? All that I need to. I'm so nervous to try this and see where I can go. So first of all, the fact that you're on a team meeting and you are so new is just like perfect. Okay. Like literally very proud of you. Second, work with your work with your sponsor. They will help you. But really, your workstation has everything that you need um, on that first things first checklist. The first mm -hmm. thing that I would say to do, Good. announce on your announce on your uh, on your personal page, whether it's Facebook mm -hmm. or Instagram, that hey, I joined Sensi. I just got my box. And if you're really brave, go live and show all of your friends what you got in your kit. Okay, mm -hmm. that way people can see that you are like the you're excited about it and it's okay to like fumble over your words too. Okay. Um, and then just create, start, start your launch party. Be excited. Yeah. It yeah. really is that easy. Guide to growth on YouTube. <laughs> well, a lot of my packages on the way home. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get into, we're going to get into part, sure. uh, participation now. Heck yeah. Yeah. Sure. Like the barber, that, this is what I'm talking about, right? Yep. Like, that is what I'm talking about. I like love this. I love support. hearing. I love hearing that there's more of you that do have spouses that are already supporting and participating. I love, love, love that. Oh, look at this, Jess Carter. <laughs> Mine is my mom. I've got no spouses to give others, and that's fine. She's always asking her things. But someone, when something new comes in, we don't open it till we're both there. I awesome. love that. I okay, love so, that. A mother-daughter team. And so that is one we have seen left and right. When you've got two people that are involved in doing an opening, an unboxing, whatever you want to call it, right? That 
that improves upon the engagement between the yep. two of you, right? That makes it more fun to watch. It used to make me so nervous. The engagement overall on social media. But my well. customers love when he gets in on a live with me. Because I'm stupid. Because he says things that I'm just like, but they yeah. love it. They love the way that we interact exactly with each why. other. And like, he will make me blush and say things inappropriately. <laughs> Don't do it here because it's going on YouTube. Please don't. Um, but I will say just like a little side note, Jess, um, and anyone else who is maybe in the same boat as her, you don't have a significant, significant other and it's your parent. Um, you can totally, um, so you can add um, your significant other mm -hmm. or your parent, mm -hmm. if you'd like, you can add people, one other person to your account and you become like co-teammates. Mm -hmm. like our co-consultants I should say there was a sense so they of... can't join your team like if you live in the same household and you file your taxes together but um they can be like a co-consultant mm -hmm. kind of like how um so our superstar director Whitney Hebel her husband is on the account Bart is not on my account yet um because that's something we've discussed and it's going to be mm -hmm. when he retires um, and then even our upline SSD, Chloe Cox, um, her husband, Justin Cox is on the account as well. Mm -hmm. So it's literally just a phone call or an email, either one that you want to do. And, um, I can let you guys know about that more on the team page later. So yeah, there was a Cincy unboxing I saw just the other day, speaking of like having a, somebody else there. Um, yes, she did say challenge accepted having somebody else there was one that I'm clipping through YouTube the other day yeah, I, I saw this one with this person like unboxing with their dog right yeah so it's like the weirdest thing but like sitting there and they've got this puppy like oh this smells so good and they hold it in front of the dog Valley knows, like covering the nose and it's Valley like, knows it's when Sensi when comes in our mm -hmm. dog she comes over and she smells stuff she knows yeah. that she can't mess with the Sensi stuff because it's like mama's stuff yeah. but yeah like she, she's just sitting over there <laughs> nope okay so spouse participation First and foremost, start with baby steps. Because like I said earlier, if they aren't willing, okay, there she is, put her down, okay, thank bye. you. <laughs> if they aren't supporting you, there's no way in hell that you're gonna get them to participate. So first start with the supporting stuff and then work your way in with thank baby you. steps, okay? It's not, I'm not trying to like, I'm not teaching you how to like coerce your man like or anything like that. That's there's some crazy <laughs> other company <laughs> BS if you've seen that documentary. Um, <laughs> But uh, this is just like, you know, if, if this, this could apply to anyone, if it was your best friend, your mom, or your significant other, your partner, your kids, even start with baby steps. The biggest thing is communication. Ask them what they want to do. Ask them what they feel comfortable doing. And honestly, most of the time they're going to be like, I don't know. What do you want me to help you with? Okay. And that's when I know I got asked the question earlier in the team page, so, um, Nikki asked, like, how did you figure out what to delegate to Bart? How did you figure out what to, you know, what tasks to do? I don't delegate anything to him. I don't. I'm a super control freak type A personality. And if like, it's hard for me to like, let go of control <laughs> of certain things, but there are some things that he just is better at than me, honestly. Um, and so really it is, that is like a personal preference thing. Okay. Okay. Go, go ahead. Go handle that. So like, here's a very good example. He takes care of the kids when I'm doing a training. Because I love you guys. <laughs> because he loves y'all. <laughs> he takes care of the kids. Honestly, like, I know that that is like, that has nothing to do with your business, but it really does. Like knowing that, like so many people commented, I, I, I can't please everyone with, with the time of our meetings, but I like to keep it the same to be consistent. So you guys know that it's never like a crazy odd time. Every, like everyone knows if Katrina does a meeting, it's at 8 PM period. I know that that's bedtime for a lot of kids. It's bedtime for my kids too, but knowing that like, if he needs to help with bath time, so that I can do this meeting, that's helpful to me. Even though it's not actually doing something in the business, it still is helpful to my business, right? Um, if that's one of the kids, can I, can I get some water? So she's picking on me, she's touching me. 
I don't get up and go, hey guys, sorry, I'll be right back and mute and yell. I mean, some, sometimes I've done that, but, <laughs> but you know, when I tell that nine times out of 10, that's what, that's, he gets up and he takes care of it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, oh, here we go. So here's some, just some little baby step ideas. Okay. Just baby step ways to get them someone involved, just to get someone involved and participate in your business. Okay. Um, ask for their input on certain things on, Hey babe, I made this flyer on Canva, which one looks better. And I know some of you are probably rolling your eyes. Like my husband does not care what a flyer looks like, but listen, it's like little, it's little things that you're asking. Like, does this font look better? Does this color look better with this one? Like you would be surprised. Like, do not hold a stereotype to your significant other. Okay. Don't, don't hold them to a stereotype. You never know. Okay. Unless they just go, I don't care. Why are you asking me that? Like, then obviously that's not something that you're going to ask them for their input on again. Um, getting there. Um, did you take that and put Jack in it? Are you kidding me? Y'all, I might not be able to put this on YouTube because this might be an actual recording of his murder. You just took my cherry Coke. It's the only soda that this baby will let me drink. And you put Jack in it. I'm sorry, Bart can't finish the meeting right now. He has to go to the gas station. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Can I at least have some ice water then? Jesus. Here, put some ice in this. I did this to help you because you should be drinking. I'm done. Water. I'm done. Like, I'm sorry. Like, come back tomorrow, guys. <laughs> I... <laughs> so now do you see, though, what I mean by doing lives? because my customers love this shit. It, it irritates the shit out of me. You guys can't tell right now because the lighting sucks in here, but my face is so bright red because I'm like, I'm so embarrassed that that just happened. I told you but that. at the same time, at the same time, I love him so much. I love him so much. Okay, I'm sorry, let's get back. You're not next to me to keep me on task. I'm swirling. Okay. Okay. Get, get their opinions on certain products or scents. This is like what I'm talking about. Maybe you're unboxing something live for a party or for your VIP group or even your team page. And you're like, and you're smelling a bar and you're like, Ooh, you know, my husband might actually like this. Hey babe, can you come smell this? They might not want to be on camera, but even just off camera being like, Hey, smell this. Like, what do you think it smells like? Doesn't this smell like that? That soap we had one time when we were, when we went and stayed at that hotel, you know what I mean? Well, like yeah, just, and listen, I don't know about y'all spouses, but mine, he can describe wax scents way better than me. For me, everything is, oh, this smells so good. So yummy. Or I smell cinnamon. I smell this in it. I smell this. No, him, he's like, uh, saddle up sm reminds him of freaking mink oil in, uh, oiling up an old baseball glove when he was nine. Like that, I can't think of stuff like that off the top of my head unless it actually does trigger a memory for me. But like he like just gets these scent descriptions. It's crazy the way that he can just pull them literally, I feel like out of his head. So let's say quick aside, right? When you stop to think about it, scents can trigger memories, right? So that's what I try to like yeah. tune all of those to, like those, those specific memories. What does it bring up? just go from there right works really well with your customers too so my whole point in in getting their opinion on on things is it doesn't matter if their opinion differs from yours it's actually better if it differs from yours so you don't ever want your spouse to be on camera with you and everyone being like oh he's just saying yeah like he's just agreeing with her no it's really good when you guys have differing opinions because something that i like to tell my customers all the time for example is like that like they know, like I'm not into like certain scents. I like fruity and citrus stuff. Do not give me a floral co collection because I can't sit there and tell you how great it smells. But like he's really into bakery scents and he loves, he's such a fat kid. <laughs> See, he loves bakery scents. He loves uh, the men's scents really, really well. Mm. And like, he doesn't like the way that I describe the men's scents because all the, a lot of time I'm like, like the NHL scent and the NFL right scent, just stop right he knows, there, like, just... I'm like, 
it smells like what a locker room should smell like, I think, like, like in a good way. And he's like, how do you know what a men's locker room smells like? You know, just like little things like that. It's not what she knows, <laughs> it's what she imagines. And that's Stop it. <laughs> So, but really just mm -hmm. the main thing though of asking their opinion yeah, is making that. sure that mm -hmm. they know that their opinion matters, even if it differs from yours. And I think it's especially if it differs from theirs, okay? Um, like, it's just like, if, as if you were ha to have your children on, it's like, of course, like I prep the, prep him like, okay, we're, we can't say this smells like poop, okay? Can't say it smells like poop. That's what I would tell Grayson. And see, and, it smells like something from like Bath and Body Works either. Yeah. And so that's the, ver that is literally the, the version of it, of telling like a five-year-old, you can't say it smells like poop or dirt or worms, you know, you would tell your spouse, okay, we're not going to say like that it smells like Bath and Body Works. We're not going to say that it, it smells like something from Victoria's Secret. We're not gonna. We're not gonna compare to because I, I do have oh, to like. Reminds me of that one we got from Yankee Candle. Yeah, Yankee Candle. Ago. Um, but that's a compliance that. issue. That is a, and it's it's honestly it's tacky. And as soon as I explained it to him in that way, like you can't just go, oh my god, you can't say that. Yeah, I kind of had a Joey moment, like from Friends, like where they have to explain something to him, and he's over there, like, oh, and they're all like, there it is. Like, yeah, yeah, that's what. But happened. like, as soon as I explained it to him, like, hey, this is a compliance thing. Like, we're not per the DSA. Oh, like, we are not supposed to name big box retailers. And honestly, it's just tacky. It's tacky. Like, so we don't ever say that we're better than a certain brand. You can just say, you know, like, listen, you can go to any kind of store and buy like dollar wax, try, I, I honestly tell my customers, hey, try it, buy nicer by twice, you get what you pay for. I'm sure it smells good, like as soon as you smell it, but Everybody what's knows. it gonna do when you're warmer? <laughs> so, you know, but that's just me. I know I'm getting back on track. Um, so ask them to go live unboxing or smelling something. Um, I feel like the way I, I feel like I could say that, that this was like a, a lure. <laughs> the way I lured him into doing that was I used to ask him to smell stuff and what he thought of stuff off camera, like while I was still recording. She and then one cool. day, one day he just kind of sat down with me and I was like, you want to smell these with me? Like, Hey, I saw my sponsor and her spouse do this. Like, let's do this. Like here, close your eyes and tell me what this, this smells like. <clears throat> we did, we do blind, blind sniff sessions all the time. Like my customers love it. I wonder that it would be a, that it would be a bad idea. I obviously have a face for radio. Like, stop it. You're so stupid. Love you. All right. Um, another way um, to get them to participate, help um, ask them to help you package your orders. Do yeah. not be a control freak like me. Okay. Guys know how to make put things in a bag. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you show them, well, hey, every order gets this, 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 and this. Set them up a little assembly line and make it like foolproof, okay? And pretty soon he'll be coming to you with ideas and going, well, hey, why don't you combine this and this? Or he's even been like, well, if this goes in every order, then why don't you make up a little, why don't you pre-make little packages? And he starts to have his own ideas about things that you can implement in your business. And that is where like the magic happens, okay? Um, helping deliver orders, unless you're like, unless you're not like me, I don't like being in the car by myself. It's not like an anxiety thing, but like we road trip really well. Like our whole family does. Maybe it's a military thing, but like our kids are great in the car. We love to just go drive. And so when I'm delivering customer orders to my locals, I'm always like, come on, you want to go with me? And either he drives or I drive. And like, he's just there to hang out. I don't give him all the orders and go here, will you go deliver these? No, um, I personally would never send just him because I like that when I'm dropping an order off, I get to interact with my customer. If I send him, they're gonna be like, who is that? Why? Oh, oh, you're her husband. Oh, okay, thank you. No, I wanna go interact with my customer and find out if they need anything else while I'm there, okay? Um, help with samples. He totally helps with samples. It was probably the first thing he ever did. I was like, he saw how overwhelmed I was trying to do samples by myself one time, bulk sampling. And he was like, you know, I can do some of that. Yeah, don't trust your man's creativity to be able to play with wax. Just give us the so labels I to put on. So I pour the wax, but here. like, he's like, like a good bag and tagger. Bag and tag. 
And he likes that I use that phrase because apparently it's an army thing. I guess. But I'm like, here, I'll bag make the staples. You bag and tag them for me. And he's like, absolutely. Absolutely. Um this is a personal thing, but I actually gave him access to the workstation. So he has the login information on his phone because I try every day not to break. Things. One of the ways that he showed support to me was he would start asking me every day um, at the end of the day, like how so and so was doing. Hey, how's Mindy doing with her numbers? Is she close to that promotion? Oh, wasn't there that new girl, Amy? Like, what did she get help, you know, with whatever? Because that's the other thing is I have him on our team page and he's also in my VIP page. Mm -hmm. Make your spouse an admin on both of those groups, on your VIP group and your team page, because God forbid someone, um, you get locked out of your account and you have to create a whole new account. Or your phone dies like it did today. Or your phone dies in the middle of a launch. <laughs> and I was in the middle of texting a customer and we were out running errands and I was in the middle of responding to a customer on my VIP page and she was like what time does it launch and I had it set and right when I went to press send my phone died and so I immediately was like give me your phone <laughs> and I was able to go hey girl sorry my phone died this is Katrina on Bart's account this is what time it launches and I got a, I got an order from it um okay that makes me happy. yes exactly but um I did good things today what did you do but yeah, I gave him, I gave him access to the team page. Um, and he honestly, I, I told him the same thing that I would tell a brand new consultant on our team. You can click on anything you want. You can't break it. I've been trying. The only button I told him he's not allowed to touch is the save report button. It's that a big is, red button and I want no, to push it. The save report button. I'm like, just don't mess with my reports. Like you can look at all of them. You it's can change the order of them, whatever. Just don't save anything because I like the reports that I have, <laughs> but he's gotten to be more comfortable. He knows where to find the standards. He knows where to mm -hmm. see all of our team's numbers. Mm -hmm. He knows where to see my order history. So if I'm ever driving or something and I'm like, Hey, can you pull up the numbers and see how close so-and-so is to their, her promotion? Like he can pull it up and he knows. Okay. Thank you. And I keep her on, on task. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways he's comfortable with the workstation Love okay that. that is purely because he would ask me every night like about numbers specifically because i personally have a, an alarm on my phone to sh screenshot my numbers because you should be you should be tracking your numbers daily and so he would hear that alarm go off every night and go why do you have an alarm go off at 10 o'clock every night i'm like so so i can screenshot my numbers and then at the end of the week i put them on my log so i can track my numbers and so it got him asking me about my numbers, about our team. And yeah. So I was like, here, just here's the login information. Save it to your phone. There, now you can look at reports. You can look at numbers. Go ahead. Um, I ask, um, I ask him to speak on team meetings, which he is going to talk, I promise. <laughs> um he posts to our team page, like I said earlier, like he loves him some Eric Thomas motivational stuff. He the only time I like will really tell him like, oh no, don't post that is I might think that it's too much for you guys. I might think it's a little too aggressive for you guys. <laughs> I mean, um, like, Y'all need drill sergeant on there. We can and that's, that. that's kind of how I equate it. I'm like, oh, they're not in the army. They don't need you to yell at them like that. <laughs> um, and then, Positive motivation. but encourage them just in general, encourage them to have a presence on your, on your pages, on your VIP group. Um, so in the event that, your spouse, like, what if you got sick with COVID? What if you cough, cough, Nikki got like broke your leg and your husband needed to go, oh. de go deliver an order. Hippa. Hippa, she doesn't care. <laughs> they all know Nikki broke her leg, <laughs> but like, you know, in the event that you couldn't do something, your spouse now has access to be able to do certain things. So if you give them access to your VIP page and let them have a presence there and your customers know who that person is, um, just like the one time that I was out with my big kids with their open house with school and stuff, and I couldn't get home in time. And I had a meeting with you guys and I didn't want to cancel it. So Bart ran the meeting and you guys were okay with it because you knew who he was. You know, he has, he has a presence. 
he has he has a presence on our team page. You guys know who he is. Um, I'm almost done. Um, all right, and this is actually the last thing. At the end of the day, try to use words like our and we. Um, like it's our page, not my page. Um, we have a training tonight, not I have a training tonight. Um, I like to tell them like our, like, hey, we're paid at title. Hey, we are on promotion watch. Um, we, you know, we are this close to earning this level of the incentive. Like it's use words to include them, to include them, right? I love you. I've talked too much. So I love you. I'm going to scroll the comments and Bart's going to talk about how he specifically. Can I have your phone thing? Yeah. Here. I, I'm all like techie and all that crap. He is. So all his notes are on his phone. phone. But then so, I don't actually have to talk to them. I just sat there and I just talked them in. It was wonderful. It's great thing in the world. I swear to God. Please do not use that voice this whole <laughs> meeting. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like they might like it though, so I don't know. So look, if y'all can't tell, I'm um, there's a clinical term, uh, that shit crazy. That's <laughs> the clinical term for it. I'm, I'm a little out there, so it is what it is. I, I like to find a way to keep things a little lighter, a little more fun. I find that if you can't enjoy it, it's just not worth doing, so that's me. Um, so getting your significant other involved in your business, right? Um, like Katrina was talking about, posting it in leader and team page, right? If you share, that page. That's the other thing. So my sponsor, our superstar director, saw how involved Bart was on the team page. And she actually, that's when she was like, hey, you know, you can add him to the leaders page, right? And I was like, oh, okay, sure. And add him to the leader page. So he, you know, he comments on stuff there. He's not as active in there as I am, but you know, he doesn't get on social media as much as I do. I'm sorry. Go. All right. So Keep my hand on <laughs> Post it in the uh, like in the leader page of the team page, right? That's something that your significant other can do for you, right? They can share that page to their own. That increases your presence across social media. It helps with sales, etc. Right. So like whatever it is that you are posting on your own, your own page, your own site, your own whatever, like, oh my God, you know, since he's got this new thing coming out. Okay, yeah, you don't share our team page in, our, in the leader page, you share no, my like, page. Right, so you know, they can page. turn around okay. and they can share that information across, awesome. In addition to that, as they get a little more involved and they begin to you know, help with your page, to be able to help with your business, if they have information that is going to be helpful there, it may also be helpful to your team's page. Have them share that information across those platforms. Whatever you can do to increase the, the overall spread, if you will, of, of your web. I don't, I don't have a better way to be able to put that. Um, basically, you as the consultant do the writing. They, as your significant other, go about the sharing portion of it, right? Just to kind of help you get the word out there about you do all of these amazing things with and through Sensi. Um, like Katrina talked to you about earlier, um, as the significant other, hold your consultant accountable. Talk to them all the time about, you know, how do your numbers look? You know, like you've been getting off your butt today and going out and, you know, making some contacts. Have you sponsored anybody today? Have you sponsored anybody this month? Have, you know, how are you doing? He's really good at holding like, me accountable. I'm, really yes, good. Like we, we jump each other's crap mm -hmm. about that regularly. Um, do it daily. Yes. For those of you who have got your significant other there with you, I'm talking to your significant other now. Do it daily. Yes, it's going to annoy them. No. He's basically giving care. your your spouse permission to jump your shit every day. Politely, respectfully, <laughs> lovingly. I'd like to clarify. What did you do today? Yeah, you know, what? Because we all love that question, right? What did you even do today? What exactly would you say you do <laughs> here? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Do it politely. Do it lovingly. <laughs> like it's there needs to be a good reason to go. Um, no, but like at the end of the day, like we have like a we have like a set time at the end of the night every night that we talk business. We do. And yeah, just a handful of. That's minutes. when he's like, "Well, hey, what income producing activities did you do today? Mm -hmm. Did you make any new contacts today?" She hates those questions. And I do. I hate them. But I do it. But he asked me though. He asked me, he's showing an interest. 
because he wants me to succeed. Because he knows wanna, how much this means to me. I mean, if, if I'm being honest, it's completely selfish. I want to just go fishing after I retire. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> all right so talking again to uh to the significant other do those lives right jump on there and do it i'll tell you what i was pleasantly surprised it's actually a whole lot of fun right like you see how she and i are interacting we're being a little silly we're being a little goofy we're, we're just like poking at each other a little bit but it's fun and frankly it's fun for a customer to watch that right and think about it as you know as you're doing this live it's almost like you're having a conversation with a couple of close friends you know, if you drink, great, that's on you. If you don't, great, that's also on you. Um, you know, think about like you're sitting there at the, the table over a, you know, I don't know, game of cards or whatever, just like shooting the crap and, and poking a little fun with each other. Like that's Authenticity is just very forward. important to us. Just showing you guys that we're real, that there's um, nothing special about us. There's no reason that you can't be a director. Mm -hmm. There's there's no reason that you can't do what we do. So you as the no consultant, reason. one of the biggest things that you can do is get your significant other to go with you to events. And I don't just mean those events downtown where you are, you know, out selling Scentsy and you're out like going to get, uh, you know, this is huge, you know, new teamies and sponsor people. Take them to SFR. Take them to SFR and take, take them, them to World, World Tour. Tour. Take them, take them, take them. Oh my God, take them. I was not in any way, shape, or form a believer. I wasn't. I'm still not a believer. When we got there, either. he was like, these people are a little too much for me. When he saw grown men and women running around a convention center oh in tutus and God. boas, he was like, what? Dudes running around <laughs> in tutus and boas, right? Because that's what their wife wanted them to wear. No, because, and well, they're no the shit. consultant too. Like yep. we have, we have Sensi Misters. We have guy consultants. Mm -hmm. We have consultants from all walks of life. Yep. And so if you've never been to an, a lot of you have not been to an in-person event. If you get an opportunity to go to one, bring your spouse with you. One, it's going to make you feel more comfortable because you're going to know somebody there, even though Tell you could what. go to, you could go to a Sensi event and not know a single person and you will leave with, with at least three friends because like, that's, we are just different. That company is just mm -hmm. like that. You will leave with Never friends. thought I would see it, but like straight up man and wife walking down the hallway. He is like, looks like a lumberjack, like straight up flannel, jeans, boots, big old beard, everything else holding his wife's hand. Both of them with pink tutus and boas on. Yep. You know what? But like, Couldn't I remember we went here. to SFR Amazing. and you saw a guy, he saw a husband that said, Sensi, Sensi Security, I've got her back while she slings wax. And he's like, yep. I'd wear that shirt. Wear and that listen, totally this man shirt. wore a pink wore a pink shirt for me I at SFR. Pink shirt. Thank you. I mean, it did look good on you. Because at the time that was that was the color of the SFR shirt. And I mm -hmm. said, do you want me to order so you go one? go to events, right? And he take them, take them, take them to those events. Especially if you get that, like, you know, how uh, Sensi has got these, these opportunities that come along where, you know, you, you do enough in sales, you get enough as far as teamies are concerned. And hey, look at that. You can go to Cabo on, on Sensi. They pay for all of it. Oh, when you earn an incentive, right? yes. You get that big one incentive, absolutely take them. Right. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is be able to get that buy in from your significant other as the consultant. They need to see that this is real. And for some people, um, like that's their spouse's aha moment. And if mm -hmm. taking them on a free vacation, free vacation, it, it's not free. You earned it. You yep. did earn it. Um, if taking them on, on a free vacation is, is what gets is the light bulb moment for, for them, then, mm -hmm. then that's the light bulb moment. It doesn't matter how they get on board with this being a business. All that matters is that they do get on board because even though I said it doesn't make or break your, your business, mm -hmm. it is so much better. It's so much more fun when you have someone to share all this with. Question. What? In your group, how many Sensi Misters do you have? We, I think we have two Sensi Misters on okay, our team so right now. I'm going to talk to the significant other of the Sensi Misters here for a second. Mm -hmm. Chica, help with the chores, the baby, et cetera. Don't expect them to do it all. All right, now that's out of the way. <laughs> Speaking to the male significant others for all the Sensi sisters we have here, dude, help, help with the it. chores, the baby, etc. Do not expect her to do it all. Yep. Right. It's a shared business. When she is in here slinging wax left and right, doing all that she's got to do to be able to take care of her customers, I cook, I clean. I, I was wore laundry. out the like, other day. Mm -hmm. I yeah, we spent the other I day, you guys, it, but I do do it. We spent one day this um, on Sunday. 
I was really behind on Happy Meal and stuff. And I just, I'm not going to list all the things, but I literally was sat at this table because I don't have an office. Mm -hmm. I sat at this table all day working straight working. Like I wasn't sitting on my phone doing things. I didn't take breaks. I sat here all day working. And what did he do? He did laundry. He cooked a dinner that night. He, I mean, our kids are pretty self-sufficient, but I'm, like, I'm going to ask a question and I, I don't want you to answer it. I'm going to answer it. Whose, whose fault is that? Oh, it's mine. She's pregnant. That's, that's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> that's my fault. Wait, what? Yeah. It's my okay. fault that you got behind. I'll take the blame for that. No, no. Well, honestly, like just being pregnant, like I, I can't, I can't loop, stand okay. some of the smells and it took forever for me to mm -hmm. just make samples. If I'm being honest, my nose just can't do it right now. But I finally was like, I have to get this done. Mm -hmm. And I literally sat here and I did happy mail and samples mm -hmm. and thank yous and uh, team email and promotion gifts. So yes, if you promoted in July or cool. August and you are on my team, you have something mm -hmm. coming to you in the mail today. <laughs> Look, I stand by my statement, right? <laughs> Talking direct to to those significant others, right? Whether that's husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, sister, brother, kid, dog, whatever. I, I don't care. Help out. Your Sensi consultant is going to get busy. Flat out. You want Do them to be, be busy. If they're not busy, then like help out. Whether that's helping yeah. out around the house or helping directly with the business, either way, take some stress off of them so that they can effectively and actually get after their business the way it deserves, the way they deserve, the way their customers deserve, and ultimately in such a way that it is going to pay back in dividends. Yep. Get off your butt and help out. That's all I got. That's everything. That's it. All right. I'm going to stop the recording. So if anybody has any questions, we'll answer them. Good night, Lisa. <laughs>